funding cuts at the state level caused a ripple effect through organizations that cut programs to adjust their budgets. But some programs are innovating, one that lost its funding not giving up and forging a second life as an independent nonprofit. MTN's Augusta McDonald takes a closer look at that operation. If you want to have some decent food and you can make a fire, Patience and preparation is very key in this. It's called fire busting, using friction and materials found in the woods. Wilderness Therapy Program Inner Roads teaches outdoor survival skills that teens like Zeke Arledge use to get through difficult things in life as well. If you want to reach your really big goals in life, you have to focus on the little goals and the little things in life in order for you to progress. Ta-da! Fire in my hands. He was on probation when he entered the Inner Roads program. When I got out, um, I got back into school. I have a nice job. I have a, I have a home with my mom. Uh, I've got a really nice friend group. It's a lot better. It's a lot better. You're problem solving. You're putting pieces together. You're thinking into the future and you're looking back and assessing why isn't this working? What could I do differently? The social part is when is it appropriate to ask for help? You know, how, f how far down am I going to go in my own kind of emotional hell? Um, before I'm willing to ask somebody if they have another idea. Bree Shulman has been the inner roads therapist for several years, but when the program was dropped by youth homes after state budget cuts severely reduced their funding, she decided to take on forming a new nonprofit. With the help of professionals who volunteered their time to keep the program going for now, Shulman says they hope to not miss this summer. Now, wilderness therapy is a cost-effective and less restrictive model of care for kids who need treatment with a higher level of success. There are two main routes for a juvenile exhibiting behavioral or mental health issues who may end up in the court system or need higher levels of mental health care, incarceration and inpatient or residential treatment. According to a study by U.S. News & World Report, 75% of incarcerated youth's crime in the United States is considered nonviolent. Those individuals could be in treatment, which is proven to be a far more cost-effective option. University of Montana graduate student Erica Forsley compared the cost of incarceration for Montana youth to wilderness therapy costs. For an eight-week stay for a youth at a Montana State Detention Center, taxpayers pay $23,000 to $31,000. Their typical time spent incarcerated is about 12 months. For youth living with serious behavioral or mental health issues, Medicaid does fund hospitalization and residential treatment. For example, Medicaid pays for hospitalization for major depressive disorder, which is largely associated with suicidal behavior, at a rate of $22,600 for 40 days. 48 days at Inner Roads, while it operated as a youth homes program, cost $8,000 and is a proven method to prevent youth from ending up in these higher levels of care. Inner Roads plans to continue in its second life as a nonprofit, but there are for profit models of wilderness therapy as well. They are more expensive. For profit wilderness therapy programs charge between $20,000 and $30,000 for an eight week stay. It's a long road ahead for the program figuring out how to fund this treatment long term, but they do have some things moving in their favor. Right now, they're getting more referrals than they have spaces to fill. The community wants this program to stay, and there's a new billable insurance code to help pay for the treatment. And I think that some of these skills where they get to take care of themselves and realize that if they put in the energy now, um, they are what they need um, and they're worth it. They're worth having here. Um, ideally, that gives kids the foundation they need to bring that back home and keep going. In Missoula, Augusta McDonnell, MTN News. Inner Roads is welcoming support for the program too. You can find information on that on our website or mobile app.